Hi friends, welcome to Wafa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 9 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about show function which is available on top of the data frame object in PySpark. So this function will actually help you to display data frame content in a tabular format. So let me practically show you that. So let's go to our browser where we have already opened Databricks workspace. And here, if I navigate to compute, I already created one cluster here. So let's go to workspace. And here, let me try to create a new notebook. And this notebook name is maybe show notebook. Okay, this is the name I will give. And the default language is Python. It is attached with our cluster. So all good. So let's create this notebook. Now our notebook is created and it is attached with my uh, cluster. So here, let's try to create one dummy data frame. That means with some hard coded values, let's try to create it. So if you have watched my previous videos, by this time you already know how to create a data frame with some hard coded values. So please watch all the videos in the playlist in the sequence order. Why? Because every video has a dependency with the next video. So all videos are in a sequence order actually. So here I am declaring a variable called data and inside this variable let's try to store one list list of items and first item in fact every item in this list i am going to store as a tuple so maybe id1 then maybe value i am entering some dummy string here okay so let me copy this entire string here from here to here so this is one item and then next item then next item so for every item we should use a comma right so let's totally have maybe four rows so first row is id1, second row is id2, third row is id3, fourth row is id4. And this content also let's try to change something instead of having the same thing. So I am just typing some, some value. Okay. And here I am also here also, here also I am typing some value. Okay. And then here let me remove this fourth value also and type something. So we have a data variable which is a list of tuples. Each tuple contains two items in it. Now let's create another variable called schema. This is again a list. So this defines the column names, right? If if you, you know this, if you have already watched my previous videos. And maybe here maybe ID, then comments is the column name. Let's use that. Then Spark keyword in Databricks or even in Spy Synapse will give you the Spark session object. So dot here when I press control space, I will get an intelligence and there is something called create data frame object. So I don't see that, uh, see, when I click at the control plus, it auto completes. So to this, for a data parameter, I can supply my data variable, whatever I created. And there is another parameter, if you see, there is a schema parameter. For the schema parameter, I can supply my schema variable, what I created. So this code is going to create a data frame. So that entire data frame object, let's try to store in a variable called df. Now here, on top of this df, when I say dot and when I say control space, there is something called show function. So this show function will actually help you to show the data or to display the data in a tabular format. So let me execute this. Shift enter. So when I execute this code, it is going to create this data frame and it is going to display the data frame also. If you closely observe here, it is displaying the data frame as well. But there is one small catch here. If you see here, the content in the first row is very lengthy, but here we are seeing only few characters. The reason is this show function by default shows only 20 characters in a given column. So if your column value is more than 20 characters, then it will truncate up to 20 characters only. So that is the first default nature of this one. Not only that, this right now you can see are four rows, right? So by default, right, it will show up to maximum only 20 rows only okay so if you have more than 20 rows then you need to explicitly say how many rows you want actually so i will show all that practically now so first thing is how i can show more than 20 characters here so it is only showing 20 characters right so to do that for example let me go to the another cell here so on the df so there is a show function right as i said so let's pass this entire thing into help function here to see the documentation of the show function so let me hit shift enter to execute this cell and now if you see here this show function will take 
there is a parameter called n there is a parameter called truncate there is a parameter called virtual and the definition of every parameter is available here so it will take a number n parameter will take a number that defines how many rows you want to show similarly truncate is a boolean value or you can supply a number also 0 and 1 that defines like what is the length of the column content you want to show and this vertical parameter will take again boolean and this define whether the data to print in vertical or not so let me practically show you this so let's close this cell what we have this here now and then now for example i want to sh show full length of the content i don't want this to truncate here so for that in the show let me hit control space for this truncate parameter we have to supply value maybe false so if you supply a value false then it won't truncate any column content it will show full so let me hit shift enter and show the execution now now you see we are able to see the full content right so this is how it appear but what if uh, I don't want to show full or I don't want to show 20 maybe I want to show only up to 5 characters or up to 8 characters how to do that so for this truncate parameter you can supply the integer value up to where you want to truncate so if I use 8 if I press control enter she sorry shift enter it will execute now you see only 8 characters it is showing so you can count it 1 2 3 4 5 and then 3 dots so totally 8 characters only it will show you okay so not only that so now here it is showing four rows maybe i want to show only two rows only then how to do that so let's keep this truncate as false so let the full content to be printed and there is some parameter called n you see this n parameter value will define how many rows you want to show so i want to show only two rows so let's pass n equals to two and hit shift enter then you will see only two rows so for example if your data frame is more than 20 rows and if you don't supply any value for this n parameter then it will show only 20 rows only okay so that is a default nature uh, not so let's let let the four rows to be shown here uh, what if if i want to show this data in a vertical manner so for that we need to supply a value for this vertical parameter so let me vertical equals to true let me pass the value true to it and see how the display changes here so closely observe right now it is showing in a tabular format right id column columns then here it is horizontally column names are there right now column names will become vertical so let me hit shift enter and see the results in action now if you see it says record zero that means first row id column comments column in a vertical fashion and values of those columns here similarly id column comments column so vertical means it will just show the data in a vertical fashion so these are all the uh, usages or this is how the show function in data factory i mean in data frame of class will actually work so i hope you got an idea about how this show function will get used now so let's go back to presentation so this is what i said here also right so if you want to show the full content you need to use truncate equals to false that gives the full content of a column and you can truncate the column length to the desired number desired characters as well like this not only that if you want to control the rows how many to show then n equals to one and as it as i said by default it will show only 20 rows only okay so if more than 20 rows are there in your data frame then they won't appear so to control the number of rows to show use this n parameter and not only that you can convert the data frame into a vertical fashion using this vertical parameter as well so that's it in this video i hope you enjoyed this video and liked this video thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much